Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. As you can see, I am playing Apex Legends on my screen and it is working out pretty fine. And I have showed you a previous tutorial how to download it, but a lot of people had a lot of problems with the server and no one kind of had any problems with the link, so it does work. You can actually download the game. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix those problems if there is any solutions to it or you would just have to give up on it or not. So just stay tuned to the very end. The first link, yes, is going to be obvious that is about the apex legends mobile beta link which is the third beta go down and download it and the second link is going to be telegram app from which you are going to be downloading it through if you need the tutorial i have given it in the description you can go ahead and see that and the third link is going to be a shuttle vpn a vpn that connects and that is powerful to run apex legends if you want you can download other vpns and try it out too but Struggle we've been worked for me it does not have to be for you too it might not work out for you so try out any other vpns that has these servers that is required to play apex legends i'm not from any beta testing countries india philippines cuba lebanon and hong kong and i think there are a few two or three more maybe i'm not from any of those countries but i'm still playing it and you can too if anyone says that you cannot that's bullshit just go ahead and you don't have to do anything like pre-registering or anything right you can go ahead and click the first link download it and that's how you play follow the steps first of all make sure to download the telegram app which is very important because you are going to be downloading it through telegram app and i'm recommending you to download this because this app is very useful you are going to get some modded apks this is not my group or server or clan or whatever it is called in telegram but i have scrolled up and i've seen a lot of good stuffs in this clan or group i would say there are a lot of modded versions of this so you can go ahead and get anything whatsapp modded version instagram modded version and much more so you don't have to always come to a youtube video to just see a tutorial and just get fake links or maybe the ad shorteners which literally pisses you off right my links are not linked with any ad shorteners so for that at least can i get a like a thumbs up that would be appreciated and if this video helps out please make sure to subscribe first watch it then if you decide to watch my content over again then do subscribe right so after you download it and connect it to the shuttle vpn make sure to connect it before you uh, open the app or else it's going to show the region problem if you are someone with a low configuration phone someone like i have the realme c3 i have three phones for three purposes a flagship which which is the iphone xs i have a mid-range or a flagship killer which is the one plus six and i have a low budget gaming phone which is the realme c3 so i can cover all three sectors and yes in ios betas does not work so if you are an ios user i really cannot help you out you can dislike the video as much as you want but it's not my fault it's your operating system the ios system that just does not allow beta testing either the game has to be fully launched on ios or they cannot put the beta right and second of all one plus six is currently running apex legends mobile smoothly and it is way better than pubg right now because we are going up against bots right it's a beta and pubg is like oh my god you are going up against some real players who has better devices than you so you would face lags and a lot of problems so don't worry about it apex is gonna go and climb that ladder of lags and ping issues and much more but when it's not with those issues just enjoy the game play as much as you can and then a new game is going to overtake all of this game, so wait for that new game. And the last thing is the Realme C3, which runs on a G70 Heliotech MediaTek processor, whatever that is called, MediaTek G70 processor by Hito. I am confused, right? And that's a huge, long name for a processor, right? Why can't you put it Snapdragon something, right? Just a small name. Okay, so this processor is pretty good. It runs a game on, I think, low graphics and probably high frame rates which is 40 frames per second not 60 so i wouldn't recommend you to get this one unless you are really really struggling with your life and you have very limited money to spend on yes you can go for this but this phone is not for competitive or room matches or for any kind of aggressive gameplays you simply mainly have to be a camper or you just have to play with your friends you cannot do that much extreme 
with this phone. It is good, you can play well, but it lags and it has a lot of frame drops and that is why I'm saying it to you. It does not run Apex Legends Mobile as well and that was a little bit disappointing but I was expecting that as well. But one more thing is, a lot of people from India in my Apex Legends series, if you haven't seen it, every videos are linked in the description, Apex Legends video playlist. All the mobility, uh, mobile compatibility list is there, which countries are going to get the beta. If USA, if you're from USA or UK, are they going to get the beta sooner or later? I mentioned that and covered it in a video. And all the system requirements and Android versions, I've made a separate video for that too. Everything you're going to get in that playlist, make sure to watch that. Whatever topic you want to know, just click on that and just watch it and educate yourself about the game, right? I just helped you out and please make sure to just like and subscribe, that's what I ask, right? Realme C3 does not work as mentioned, but it did pre-register in the Play Store when I connected it to an Indian VPN and it did register. So a lot of people did tell me before the Beta 3 came out that our games are pre-registering and I did tell them, if you go to the comment section, I did tell them that even if it pre-registers, it does not guarantee you a spot in the beta testing period because this is limited. A lot of flagship users like the S20 Ultra, S21 Plus and I think a lot of high configuration phones are not running the game, not because their phone is bad or something it's because apex has decided to target mid tire phones so one plus six is a mid tire phone and it goes under all of the categories that they want to target because the flagships are always going to run the game smooth but the mid tires are the old phones which are really all like two years old or three years old the one plus six can still can it still run the game properly or not and since it's beta and it's mostly robots bots which is exact I couldn't understand that much because I did not have that much of frame drop but yes on my phone if you're playing without a fan or a AC or a fan cooler or mobile cooler behind your fan it is gonna lag like crazy and it is gonna have a lot of problems to run the game but if you have that um, just keep your phone cool and it is gonna run smoothly during the beta testing I did not find any problems I have played around six seven matches I, I was pretty much busy to uh, play more I was doing other stuff other projects so I couldn't play that much but as far as I have played it had no problems in it and if you have any other problems like I have had a comment that a person telling me that I am not able to join it's my phone is Samsung S20 and I cannot join the game he did download it and it's not connecting or it is not entering the games or the main lobby it is probably because they are testing out mid tires or something as far as i have heard yes a lot of people with flagship phones are able to use the game and get in the game i really do not know why a lot of people with flagships are not able to get in this is probably because of the reason i said but it just crosses it out because some devices which are flagship are still running which makes my statement weaker but i cannot come up with any other better explanation for this because i have found a lot of forums public forums where they have been complaining about it i'm just posting a youtube video where i just normally get a thousand two thousand views but a public forum is getting thousands and thousands of views and comments so i'm reading those stuff and i'm giving you the information from there so it is not my opinion it is the fact that other users are leaving on instagram twitter or other public forums gaming forums and that is what i'm presenting to you so i think that's mostly everything covered in this video what i have wanted to mention and yes a person that commented that the link works which is very much appreciated thank you if you could have mentioned your phone and whoever comments in the comment section please make sure to mention your phone at the start and if you have a problem mention it if it did work mention it if it did not work i'm pretty much sorry for that i will try my best to help you out please do mention it in the comment section i will try to help you out as much as i can and yes that person did say it works and i appreciate that for him telling that it works but he did end up telling that the servers are pretty much busy that's why i cannot enter so he did understand the problem and the issue of the beta test 
interesting and that is how betas works and that's it for the video guys thank you for watching and for being patient for watching the long video but i tried to put up as much informative content in this yes informative contents are going to be lengthy i know it's boring so i try my best to make it as fast and short so this video has been recorded in normal speed and in video editing it has been increased to 1.25 to 1.5 speed in particular areas so that you do not have to watch a pretty long video it is long but i made it a little bit shorter that's it for the video guys thank you for watching and Peace out.